Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I hope you are. Okay, look at how hot I am. I'm sweating my butt off down here and I'm loving it. Okay, I want to tell you something. Do these people know how to live? Yes, they do. Do I love Mexico? Yes, I do. Do I love Z. Watanago? Yes, I do. Okay? I love traveling the world and teaching courses all over and lecturing. But I want to tell you something. Mexico. You know what? Canada. Don't go to Mexico. The Mafia. It's dangerous. Okay? United States. Don't go to Mexico. It's dangerous. The Mafia. Yeah. I've never had any trouble in Mexico from anyone except gringos. Go figure, right? Okay, so you better move it or you'll lose it. Okay, now look at, you know what? We all have to have air conditioning. They don't have air conditioning. And look at the glisten on me. It's not, this is not, this is not olive oil, baby. This is, this is the heat. Okay, I'll tell you, my skin has never been so good when I lived in Mexico. I've never had so much energy and so much life in me. Okay, so understand, they're always going to tell you not to go where you can be happy, where you can let loose, where you can let go. Everybody out there that is thinks their authority over you are going to try to limit your beliefs and tell you that you can't have this, you can't do that, you can't dream this, you can't dream that. I'm gonna tell you something. I will do nothing that the majority does. I will do nothing that the authority says unless it's, good. it's for my better good, okay? You know what they tell us? They tell us that if you suffer today, we'll have a better tomorrow. Are, really? H has nobody learned yet? And then they tell us that we need to pack up and go to another country and go to war with other countries, other colors, other, other nationalities, other religions. Uh, are we like over this yet? Uh, can we just allow everyone to have their faith, have their belief and, ha and leave them alone? Can we just leave everybody alone? to come down here and have a fun-filled, life-threatening experience, but not life-threatening from you, because we already know that when we come down here, guess what? The government's always been corrupt. Medical system has always been corrupt. It was created by the Rockefellers. I mean, they're parasites right from hell. Seriously. Okay, does nobody get this? I mean, people will actually say to me, Dr. Wolf, I am so upset at my doctor. Really? <laughs> because he does surgery, radiation, chemo, and he sells you drugs. That's the four pillars of the medical system. It's not the healthcare system. They never said they were, okay? Understand that. They never pretended. I mean, when you go to them, if you wanna talk about a proper detox, are they gonna give it to you? Huh, let me tell you something right now, all right? When you start to shine your light, okay? There's, there's an old proverb and there was a firefly, okay? And this firefly, okay, was going along, just minding his own business, shining his light wherever he went, okay? And guess what, a snake was following him. And the firefly stopped and said, hey, Mr. Snake, why are you following me? Am I on your food chain? No. Nope. Did I do something to piss you off? No. Nope. Then what's going on? He goes, well, you're shining way too bright. And that's it. 
So understand, if you want to find your authentic self, if you want to shine bright, then you need to know something, okay? You need to know that you need to grow. And the only place that you can grow is uh, super consciously. Connect with your source, your creator, God, uh, Jehovah, whatever you call that energy system that created the whole universe. And know that that energy system, I mean, seriously, what dumbass actually, okay, brought God down to a human doing? Seriously, you know what? The majority of the population that believe in God actually think that God is judging them if they stole the cookie. Oh, my father said I was born a sinner. I had to live with that until I was a teenager. I'm telling you right now, by the time I was eight years old, I was a hell raiser. And guess what? I said, I'm going to hell anyways. I'm going to have fun because everything that my father wanted me to do almost was not fun. He had poverty consciousness on all levels, and I love my father. When I think about my father, I think about this trapped little boy who never was allowed to love himself, so he didn't know how to love others, and he never ever was taught abundancy because um, the type of religion that we were under, okay, is, is that the poor will inherit the earth. Uh, well, that's poverty consciousness. You, if you're poor with health, you're sick. If you're poor and think that you'll always be, that money's hard to make, you'll always be broke. And you need to understand something. You see something here? Look at this. This bread, that's energy. It's not the energy I want, it's low vibrational. But that bread came from the invisible. The only thing that exists in the universe is energy, okay? You see this doorway? That was nothing at one time. This building was nothing at one time. At one time, I was, I was everything, just my spirit. But then I came and look at what I formulated, okay? Between me and the help of my creator, my mother, my father, we made the invisible into the physical. Now, I need you to get this. People say, Dr. Wolf, you're selfish. Dr. Wolf, uh, you, you need to have more empathy but understand something, if you knew that every belief system that you had and everything you want, okay, is created by energy, wouldn't you hold that vibration and keep that focus on that energy and then sit back if you really believed in God, source of everything, you know that that's not hard to deliver absolutely anything from the universe, then you would just sit calmly. And when you think about something that you so want, you're so passionate about, you can sit back and just relax and go, guess what, God? This is what I want, but if you've got something better for me, give it to me. And I live like that every day. I don't come on here as some Bible-thumping religious person, and I don't mean to put anybody down about the Bible, okay? I just did enough of that when I was younger. Understand something. I know that that which created the universe doesn't have a personality disorder. It doesn't need to be on Prozac to calm itself down. I know it's never hated me and loved me. I know that it's, it never even loved me because it was beyond love. See, the only things that love are human beings and they're a bit dysfunctional, okay? They'll use love as a, as a ransom. What you, and then we went and made God into that? Well, let me tell you something. You can buy into that all day long. Then you can tell me that I'm going to hell for it. And guess what? I'm the guy that's living in heaven all the time. I mean, sometimes it's as hot as hell down here. And I love it, okay? All right? I love, I love everything. How you doing? No smile? Okay. All right. So, uh, I love everything about my life. And do things go my way? Did I have a rough upbringing? Okay. Did I have a rough upbringing? Well no rougher than you and yours was no rougher than me but guess what the story you tell yourself is the story you become so guess what whatever you repeat the most becomes your prominent dominant beliefs and you hold them in your subconscious and then that's that's your personality but it's not your personality my personality is made up of beliefs I did not come here with a personality I came here as a spirit being infused into a physical being so my vibration came down somewhat. So when we get here, 
all we are ever trying to do is trying to what? Is trying to what? Is trying to reach joy, happiness, bliss. But you can only have that in the present moment. Now, whether you believe this or not, 99 out of 100 people, they're miserable. They're miserable because they don't know that their belief systems were picked by the government, were picked by maybe a religion, were picked by the schools they went to, were picked by the fools that said they had authority over them, were picked by their parents. And we know that when you become an adult, we call that adulteration. So here's the deal. Every day I'm going to observe me without judgment. I'm gonna say, what no longer serves me? I'm going to make a 1% change every day. I'm going to bring my vibration up every day. I'm going to love myself more. I'm going to love the planet more. And I'm gonna know that the planet, when we say the planet, we mean the people. The planet will never die. That's BS. They just want to guilt us and make us believe that the planet's going to die because of us. Meanwhile, they're poisoning the shit out of us. Okay? They're, they've got chemicals in the air, in the water, in the food. The tobacco industry owns all the food corporations now. Okay? So understand something. No more guilt. You're not going to allow anybody to give you any more guilt ever again. You're not going to allow anyone to judge you ever again because there's no justice system on this planet there is only total unconditional forgiveness for yourself and everyone else and knowing that people don't change unless they want to take something like a whole life coach certification course so they could go for free in my library and take my emotional braveheart online uh emotional course which used to be a thousand dollars i give it away free now because people need to understand that their personality is made up of beliefs and people don't have their personality. My personality is gonna change every day. People actually think they were born with their personality. If you are suffering throughout the day, and when you hit a bump, you don't slow down, okay, and just reassess things, then we know that you're, uh, you're living in an unconscious way, only out of your subconscious with beliefs that are not even yours. I don't know how I'm gonna get this through to you, but get yourself a Braveheart love band, put it on your wrist and snap it every time that you say something, drink something, eat something, do something that is low vibrational. And I want you to say, three, two, one, I got this. Give it a little snap or get yourself an elastic band and don't hurt yourself. You wanna snap yourself back into the present moment. You're gonna do this about 30 times an hour at the beginning. If you find yourself sitting down or watching TV, I want you to just take the band and just click it, listen. Just click it that you can hear it. And every time it clicks, what you're saying is there's a new sheriff in town who unconditionally loves and cares for yourself. You don't give a crap anymore what anybody thinks about you when you're shining your light. Because people don't even know it, but they were built to be jealous, okay? Why should he have that? Why should she get that? Oh, he's so lucky. You know what, we think everybody's lucky but what we don't understand is that person has been focusing on their passion, their purpose, their belief on what they want. Whether you want to believe this or not, <coughs> there's a lot of people that are very abundant and very rich. They're not good at, with relationships with themselves. They're not good with relationships with anybody else. But understand something. They are rich because they don't have poverty consciousness and understand that you do and when i say you do i'm always talking about the majority of the population has poverty consciousness most people have lost love for themselves when you do that you're just biding your time okay all right i can't wait to get to bed when i do get to bed i can't sleep because i'm not happy about who i am okay i'm just not good enough smart enough pretty enough strong enough fast enough you are This is the sixth go round for this planet. That's real science. Right now, the harvest is on. If these psycho parasites did nothing else, you will see a major exodus of millions of people in the next 10 years. They're thinking, drinking, and eating themselves to death. 
They're drugging themselves down because they don't realize that they're emotional beings. And until they have unconditional love for themselves, forget the unconditional love for everyone else. Just practice loving yourself so you don't destroy yourself. And then once you knock that out of the park, then see if you can start forgiving everybody else and everything else. And just know the world's not going to change. Whether you want to believe this or not, there's been five times that this planet has existed. And then guess what? It went extinct. That didn't mean all human beings left. And understand, we didn't come from monkeys. I mean, who has that kind of intelligence, okay? And then you know what they make us, you know what they make us feel? Oh, we're the smartest we've ever been. No, we're not. We're the most drugged, poisoned we've ever been, and we can't think straight anymore. And understand something. They try to make it look like our ancestors were animals, okay? And then they try to make us look like animals. Well, let me tell you something right now. And please don't get me wrong, but you know what? Out of maybe every hundred wars, one had to be fought. The rest were just to have human beings turn into human doings and destroy each other. And that's the end of the story. And you know that, and you know that. Everybody wants to join the army, the Navy, the Air Force and be a hero. I get it. I'm not putting down people who do that, okay? All right, I've done a lot of things in my life I'm not gonna do anymore, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to do anything unless it's unconditional love. So I understand that. I've been everything. I've been a thief, a liar, okay? Oh, well, maybe not everything. I've done drugs. Uh, you know, I've drank too much alcohol when I was younger, okay? I, I, and, and when I was coming from a poverty consciousness, I would lie a little bit or even a lot, okay, because I felt I had to. Or I would try to cut corners. I would do all of that. But guess what? I wasn't going to hell for that. I just had belief systems that there wasn't enough. So I realized that there will always be enough when I'm more. When you're more, do you invest in yourself? Do you actually say no to the things that are poisoning you? Do you say no to the poisonous people that you hang around with? Love them anyway, stop hanging around with them. You are the average of the five people you hang around with the most. I hang around with Lori. We don't really hang around with anyone. And you're gonna find out something. Those people you know, oh my God, they have so many friends, they're so popular, they're lost. Your mission down here is to find your authentic self and embrace that and love that unconditionally and never waver. And you will never waver for anyone, anything ever again. You will smile, you will love yourself, you will care for yourself like no one else has ever loved you. And that's how you rock this planet. So call me selfish and I'll tell you that I'm selfish enough to know how to have the perfect day from the moment I rise until I close my eyes. I'll tell you that, I'll tell you that. And right now, I mean, we're in this dirty warehouse, okay? And it's hot and it's sweaty and we can't find the keys for the locks and we're trying to figure out what's going to Texas what's going to Florida because I'm opening up a place in Florida probably too did you get that I've got a big surprise coming for everyone hopefully it works out and if it doesn't then it, I believe in God Almighty and it wasn't supposed to but right now I'm gonna be opening up a fulfillment center that's uh, 8,000 square feet in Texas with a clinic a juice bar okay in a training center I'm gonna be doing trainings in Mexico about three to four times a year Okay, because I know that a lot of people that follow me and want my uh, trainings, they, they love Mexico. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And the reality is, is I'm not gonna ditch it. So I'm gonna leave enough stuff down here that we're already set up for trainings. And right now I'm negotiating with probably the nicest resort in this area of Mexico, okay? It's just unbelievably beautiful. If you know of the Cala del Mar, it could fall through. But that's where I'm trying to uh, get a deal going. And if we do that, man, what a beautiful paradise. And then when you come down, there's so many Air Bs and Bs and we'll help you get situated and understand something. The food is 99% organic because nobody can afford to poison you. Oh my God. And then there's no chemtrails ever up in the sky here in Mexico, in Extapa. There isn't, no chemtrails, okay, organic food, okay and you know when the lockdown comes a lot of these people they 
They are very humble and they will put on masks. A lot of them will get vaccinated again, and, but they're beautiful. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot of people that don't get vaccinated that are haters. Okay. They hate the system. They hate the V. They hate the people behind it. And guess what? That doesn't do anything for the, that doesn't do a lot for the uh, planet either. What do you think? What do you think? Just because you are probably making a higher educated decision or a more loving one for yourself, okay? You have to understand something. The world isn't going to change and we can always find something easy to hate. But let me see if you can find something to love at every given moment, which is one ten thousandth of a second. And let's start with yourself and let's get rid of all the bullshit judgment from mommy and daddy and religion and government and everyone else who thought they knew better than you or said you're selfish because they wanted you to live their life. How about that? Why don't you give that a good go? Let me tell you something right now. We're all one. I'm no smarter than you. Okay. It's only because you have belief systems that you haven't worked on yet to get rid of. Okay. Remember something. You think you came with your personality or it was God given? No, 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 no. It was molded down here. That's the life threatening, fun filled adventure of planet Earth. You come down here and uh, um, you get conditioned. You get conditioned. Let me tell you something. When we come down here, okay, we were born to win and we were, and now we're conditioned to what? Fail. And if you don't think that you can take or you're going to take massive personal action and crack this coconut from the inside out and start throwing out belief systems, okay, that are killing you and your family. I mean, killing you and your family. Don't, don't pretend to yourself, okay? I talk to people every day and I'm telling you right now that 99 out of 100, even more, okay? They tell me that they've got a good diet. They tell me that, you know, they, they've got a great loving family. And then we get into the whole thing and their family was just as toxic as mine. But how would you know? Because you only have one family, so you don't have any other families to compare to and you think that's love. Until you have unconditional love for yourself, you don't know what true love is. And you can tell me that's not true, Daryl. My partner and I, we love each other completely. Oh, really? You don't play love ransom with each other? Okay. You don't squabble about the same things over and over again. Okay. Understand something. You can't give, you can't give what you're not. You can only give what you are. Okay. If you turn love on and off like a tap, then you have the same, you have the same um, relationship with yourself and you have that same relationship with the world and that's 99.9% .9 of the world and you can take it or leave it. Okay. Long as people are getting love from someone, they're loving their life. But when they're not, they're hating it. I'm lonely. I'm desperate. I can't go on. Nobody loves me. I'm not worth anything. And until, until you're worth everything to you, until you have unconditional love for you and you fill up your own heart and you don't need love from anywhere else, anything else, you never even started the game. And you can think I'm cocky and you can think I'm arrogant, but it's none of that. It's I fell in love with me. Okay. I fell in love with me and stop hating parts of my mind, parts of my body. And soon as I did that all faded away. The things you hate about yourself will always be there because I already told you that everything is created from energy. So why don't you write a new story? Tell a new story. Sit down right now. Get a piece of paper. Tell the story that um, makes you feel the most joy in your life and the most power in your life. And then write that. Put it in your car. Put it in the bathroom. Put it in the bedroom. And then when you take a look at it, keep rewriting it. Keep refining it. Okay, till you can smell, you can taste it and it's sitting inside of you and then get to the point that you know that God has only uh, had feelings for you beyond love and has never judged you and, and isn't holding anything back. The only thing that's holding anything back is your dysfunctional belief systems of unworthiness. So when are you going to be good enough? When are you good enough? You're good enough when you think you're good enough but you're going to have to practice that a lot because guess what? Everybody, you know, and everybody you hang around with. Okay. 
you've been doing the same program for so long that guess what? They won't be used to your new program. So can you love yourself anyway? And this is why I tell people, spend the money. Come take my whole life coach certification, okay? Or if I come to your area, we'll allow a few people to come for one day. And you'll understand something. By the third day, you would know who your authentic self is. And you'd know that, guess what? You're not going to hell to unconditionally love yourself and never judge yourself again or make yourself into a sinner or a failure. That's where they win. And you can believe it or not, but sin just means missing the mark. And sin means that you need to keep on repeating it until you get it right. If you believe that you're a sinner and you're going to hell, well, you're going there, okay? Right now, I'm going to go into uh, 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 our uh, warehouse and uh, it's hot as hell. Okay, and it's a little dirty and a little sweaty, but guess what? Sometimes it's good to get a little dirty and a little sweaty, right? Okay, so move it before you lose it. Okay, and remember something. Your, your, your brain is not the smartest part of you. The smartest part of you is the belief systems, the programs that you're running. Don't be a dumbass. Love yourself 100%. Don't put yourself on the hook anymore. Don't judge yourself. Look at it and go and observe and say, how can I learn? How can I grow? And if you hurt someone, apologize, but don't say sorry. Say, I apologize for hurting you. How can I, how can I help you? How can I serve you? How can I love you better? Give it a shot. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Just know that our uh, um, ionic calcium sale is on. Uh, we can't discount the ionic calcium. It is the only true calcium on the planet and uh, uh, that actually can turn around almost every autoimmune disease and, I, and I, I really could say everyone. And it can take people that are in life-threatening situations. Go to my library and take a look at the ionic calcium guide and watch the videos and then you'll see real science. Understand something. I'm not going to sell crap to anybody. I'm going to sell the best of the best. Remember what I said, everything is frequency, everything is energy. And um, every product that we give you, everything leaves the body except the energy. So understand something. Don't buy crappy products. High vibrational ones that are going to turn you on. Turn on your calcium ions. Turn on your uh, IGF-1. Turn on your human growth hormone. That's where it lies, okay? We've been sucker punched and uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago, uh, we were actually, uh, we were manipulated, okay? So that we uh, uh, were dumbed down. I'm not gonna be a dummy today. I'm just gonna unconditionally love myself and allow people to be what they need to be. And I'm gonna stay and go where I can be free. First here and then out here. God bless everyone.